On this Veterans Day, we wanted to take a look back at news that broke over the weekend. We begin with the impeachment inquiry. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff is already denying House Republicans' requests for two witnesses to testify as part of the inquiry. Those are former Vice President Joe Biden's son Hunter and the government whistleblower. Schiff said the whistleblower's testimony would be, quote, redundant and unnecessary. The radical California Democrat also said Hunter Biden's testimony would be an example of the GOP conducting a sham investigation into debunked conspiracy theories about the 2016 election. Then there is this from another radical California Democrat, Eric Swalwell. Moving the narrative from quid pro quo to extortion, saying House Democrats have evidence of the latter as a result of President Trump asking Ukraine to probe the Bidens in exchange for military aid. It's important that the president has due process and evidence is not a conclusion. We have enough evidence from the depositions that we've done to warrant bringing this forward, evidence of an extortion scheme using taxpayer dollars to ask a foreign government to investigate the president's opponent. However, President Trump continues to forcefully maintain he did nothing wrong, tweeting, quote, the call to the Ukrainian president was perfect. Read the transcript. There was nothing said that was in any way wrong. Republicans don't be led into the fool's trap of saying it was not perfect, but it is not impeachable. No, it is much stronger than that. Nothing was done wrong. Also over the weekend, explosive allegations from former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in her new book. Haley wrote that former Chief of Staff John Kelly and former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson were actively trying to undermine President Trump and stop him from implementing his agenda. She went on to write that Tillerson thought that if he didn't resist the president, people would die. Kelly did not deny the claims, but said he wanted Trump to know what the pros and cons of each decision would be. This weekend, new information surfaced about former FBI agent Robert Levinson. It's being reported that Levinson might be alive after going missing in Iran more than a decade ago. The rogue country's government saying there's an ongoing case against Levinson. He was working as a CIA contractor when he went missing back in 2007. And finally, there is New York Congressman Peter King announcing he's retiring. King said this wasn't an easy decision, but added he wanted to spend more time with his children and grandchildren. King was chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee and served 14 terms in Congress.